Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Dark Jack, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the worst games that I've ever played. I made a video earlier talking about the best games that I've ever played, and so in this video, I'm going to talk about the worst of them. And I've not actually bought any of these games that I'm going to tell you about. I've only rented them or played the demo because I'm a very discerning gamer. I don't spend money on bad games. So I'm going to start first with the early games, the Nintendo games, and the Super Nintendo games. Then I'm going to talk about the Xbox 360 games. So first for the NES, because I've been playing video games since the original Nintendo. And the first game I'm going to talk about is Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Yes, Bart vs. the Space Mutants. The reason I wanted this game was because I was at Toys R Us, and I was shopping with my mom, and my parents didn't let me watch The Simpsons. And so when I saw this game, I really wanted to play it, because I didn't know anything about The Simpsons, and I didn't know why my parents wouldn't let me watch the show. So I kept pestering my mom to buy the game for me, and so she finally bought it, if I promised I would enjoy it and have fun. Well, little did I know, the game was really bad. And so, the object of Bart vs. the Space Mutants is that it's, ex it's an extremely linear game, and you're supposed to collect certain items throughout each of the levels to de defeat the Space Mutants. So, on the first level, you have to collect all the things that look purple, and then in later levels, you have to collect things like hats. And so it's a really terrible ripoff rip of the Simpsons series. And the second game is a Super Nintendo game, called Mario is Missing. Now, Mario is a great series, but this game is not a platformer. This is an educational game. So Mario is Missing is a game where you have to solve puzzles and answer historical questions, so it's not fun at all. Then my next game for the Super Nintendo is Rocketeer. Now, the Rocketeer was a great movie when it came out, but the video game is terrible because in order to actually play the game, what you have to do is you have to beat a minigame first. And it's a racing minigame, and it's really difficult to beat, and I never was able to beat it. And so I had to return the game without ever actually being able to play the actual game because I couldn't beat the minigame, which is really stupid. Then for the Xbox 360, there's a game called Hour of Victory, and this is a World War II shooter. It's a, basically a ripoff of Medal of Honor in the early Call of Duty games. And Hour of Victory is really terrible. It has horrible AI. The controls are awful. It's filled with glitches. You can, you can watch a playthrough of it. Uh, with Blame Truth, if you go to his channel, and it, his playthrough of it is really funny. It has terrible controls, terrible AI, horrible glitches. It's just terrible to play. It's not fun at all. Probably one of the worst first person shooters out there. And speaking of bad first person shooters, another game that's really terrible is Soldier of Fortune Payback. And I actually have Gamer Score for this, which is unfortunate. If I could, I would delete the Gamer Score for this game because it's so bad because I rented it a long time ago. And this game also has horrible AI. The weapons are just not fun to use. The controls are not good. It's completely, uh, it's non-original. It's supposed to be really gory and gross, but all the graphics in this game where you can decapitate enemies, it's just so gimmicky and corny. It's not fun to play at all. Then there's another first person shooter for the Xbox called Legendary. And Legendary is a game where you shoot generic en bad guys and enemies, but you're also supposed to take on mythical creatures and monsters which sounds fun until you actually play it, and the level design is horrible. You, I barely even beat the demo because the levels are designed in such a way that they're like a maze, and you don't know where to go or what to do, and it's so bland and generic, it's ridiculous. Then there's another game called Darkest of Days, which is a game where you go back in time and use modern day weapons in the past, and li like the previous games, the AI is terrible, the graphics are horrible. It looks like an original Xbox game, not like a 360 game, and it's not fun to play at all. And my, the last game I'm going to talk about is Duke Nukem Forever. Now, Duke Nukem Forever would have been a good game if it was released in 2002, but it's basically an old video game that was re released in the modern day era. And unfortunately, many people bought this game only to return it a day later. So I think a week after this game came out, I saw this game in the bargain bin at Blockbuster for $10. It was that bad. And I played the demo of this game, and it really wasn't that fun to play. It was too bland, generic. And I think Gearbox definitely hurt their reputation by publishing this game. So post in the comment section below what kind of games that you've played that were horrible. And I'll see you guys later.